Hey guys, John Lux here, back with our blind playthrough of Shadowgate. Did I say Shadow Run in one of the previous episodes? I may have. If I did, well. So, I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay, let me show you what I did real fast in case you guys want to, um, in case you have your own YouTube channels or, or want to start one one day. It's, so it's not necessarily OBS, I think it's actually game related or game specific because I believe certain games will do it, but others will not. Don't know why. I just changed the resolution to match my monitor. That's all. Apparently there's other things that you can do um, that will uh, fix the problem as well. You can change your... Someone was like, oh, you just change your, your monitor's resolution. And I was like, well, why don't I just change the game's resolution then? Um, other people say, you know, right click on the thing go to properties, compatibility, and then check one of the little boxes. For some reason, they were all grayed out for me, so I literally could not do that. And someone else suggested under, there was some option under display under the control panel for Windows where it was not quite at 100% zoom. It was like halfway between that and 125 I think they said like it was slightly zoomed in and that's what messed with the uh, OBS and it also was blurring their text on their computer so that they couldn't understand why that was just how it started don't know so let's resume and and by the way if you don't have your own YouTube channel uh, Nothing wrong with trying it. You know, you could that way you could kind of see. Part of the reason I did this, I started this, is so I could learn. And um, definitely learned a lot. But yeah, just seeing, it, it's not as it's not as easy. I don't even think I make it look easy, but uh, there's definitely a lot of a lot of stuff that kind of jumps out at you that uh, you just hadn't considered or wouldn't have considered. And then when you're doing it, you know, it's like, oh, okay. And then you learn and, and grow and stuff. So that's kind of my recommendation is maybe just try it. Just see, see how it is. Now, this, I felt like we did it right. Surface contains two figures. So I, they should all be set. The way a series of glowing runes surround two faded figures that look to be fighting in the sky looks strangely familiar. Right, all of these and the runes. Now, it rumbled twice. I, I I don't know why. It didn't rumble when I finished this. I don't know if I'm supposed to use a spell. I guess we could we could try the Is this the one that opens stone stuff? We could try that. Alright, so it didn't work. Rock table and those. Now, my other thought, I, I assumed that it would do something like bridge a gap. Or, uh, yeah, bridge the chasm. It may have done something here in the ornate chamber. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't really want to go back there and look, to be honest. And, uh... Yeah, I kind of hate the catacombs in general. I mean, all the stuff's in the right place. I, you know... Uh, let's see. I don't suppose I could just walk over there now. 
You calculate the distance across the chasm in your head, showing unusual restraint. You decide the leap is just too great. There you go. Um, right, and then we go up from here. All right. Oh, yeah, another thing is, um, so occasionally I get comments on my videos that make me think that they're from kids. This is a channel for, you know, the whole the COPPA thing, you know, it's made for kids, not made for kids, whatever. This is not made for kids. But that said, if you are a kid and you're watching this stuff and you're enjoying it, you're not unwelcome, you know? I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's not all going to be at the child level of life experience, right? But something that I've realized, especially seeing all the crazy shit going on in the world today, is uh, many adults are just overgrown children, right? And I think that's kind of a, a tragedy. Children need to be raised to be adults. You're, you're raising adults, you're not raising children. So... You know, if you, like I said, if you are a kid and you're watching this and enjoying it, great. Um, but some of the stuff might be, might be above the heads of adults, you know, as well. So, whatever. It's, <laughs> it, it's one of those things. If you are a kid and you're watching this, I hope you grow up. I hope you grow up properly into an actual adult, not a fake adult. All right, you note a shaft set within the sandy cave floor. A cloying sweet smell waft, wafts up from the depths below. Where are we now? We're in the upper catacombs, great. This feels like such filler. You wonder what might await you in the dark tunnel beyond. Is this the end? At the far side of the cavern, a figure adorned in robes and wielding a staff chants a spell directed at the massive rune-covered wall. The air of malevolence is almost pal palpable. Is that Talamar? What happened to the skull? And hanging the key and all that stuff. So it looks like... The only things that are active is this and that. So just... Right. See? Man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy this actually matches up now. A robed figure gestures wildly, chanting in an arcane tongue that sends shivers down your spine. The wave of hatred and malevolence that emanates from this dark wizard is almost palpable. This must be the Warlock Lord himself. Look at Warlock Lord. Yep. Statue. An ancient stone statue lies within the chasm. You wonder what cataclysm buried such a massive sculpture. With a shrug of your shoulders, you genuflect towards the statue and pray the Warlock Lord doesn't see you. Oh, yep, that's no good. <laughs> Ahem, you clear your throat ready to deliver a stern lecture to the so-called Warlock Lord. Instead, the Warlock Lord turns and launches a bolt of energy that slams right into you. The only and last thought that crosses your mind is, what a terrible first impression that was. Yep. Tis a sad thing that your adventures have ended. Okay, so strange. Go to chasm. 
A huge chasm opens up in the middle of the chamber. It looks as though the expanse is meant to, meant to separate the wall from easy access. These are the runes, I suppose. You can kind of see them glowing a little bit. Can I go? Oh, well, there. <laughs> oh, hey, and my picture turned into a skeleton. That's cool. Why? It wouldn't let me jump into the chasm earlier, but it lets me throw myself over the edge of this one. Uh, throw yourself over the edge of the chasm while you fall to your death. You catch a puzzled, surprised look from the robed figure. Unfortunately, that is the last thing you will ever see. Yeah. Tales of your great sacrifice shall be told throughout the land. We haven't gotten that one before, I don't think. Right, Jack? That's right. We have to try something as well. Ah, uh, let's see. Use sword. The thought of thrusting the sword in your belly has the immediate effect of giving you second thoughts. And, uh... I don't think I did it in the original, but you can... You can just straight up kill yourself. Um, although I think it takes a couple tries. Or, no, maybe with the swords and stuff, it's immediate. With You can punch yourself to death, too. Um, Subterrain. So now the question is... Is this actually the end? I mean, I can't... Right, it's it's kind of annoying. Um, so presumably now I have to go back and do everything, right? What a load. 949. Oh, that's where we're at. Okay. Okay, let's go here. No pickaxe, though. Should I... Should I break all of these? Um... Well, I guess we'll see what happened with the rock table, if it did anything above us. And that's the other thing, right? Like, I feel like there should be a way across there. I just don't understand. Like, I, I lined up all the stuff, I think. How am I going to get by those things again? You know, the gargoyles. <sighs> okay, um... Right, I have to go down. <clears throat> the, um... Right, and what's with the tar? What's with the gong? Uh... And let's check the lava flow. All right, nothing. Nothing's changed that I could tell. Maybe, maybe they'll just stay in there, you know? back here nothing's changed that I can tell and see that looks the same I don't know
Still haven't found the rod. Um, hmm. I guess we go back. One of the towers had a, um, had a rune in it, right? The empty chamber. We should get that. I think it was this one. If it's not, I don't know. Right. Okay. Uh, do I need to cast or can I just take it? Oh, there we go. You fumble about trying hard to grab something, anything. Okay, so we do have to cast the spell. All right. As you approach the rune, a strange power overtakes you. Both your hand and the rune glow with the magical light as you pull it from the wall. <coughs> Excuse me. And place it in your satchel. Whispered voices, not unlike what you heard when you were initiated on the summoning. Dace, fill your head with a triumphant chorus. I think that's everything. So we still... Man, I feel like we're missing so much still. Alright. Music room... Lackmere's abode. I got the ceiling. The darkness, I don't know. A strong room. Right, that's where the, the girl was. I don't have the key for whatever that is. And there's also this door that's locked from the other side. Oh, that's interesting. And I, I don't think I've seen anything regarding the levers either. No Sphinx, no... I guess we'll take a look at this. Uh, number of robe figures reaching for some type of conflagration. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess at this point we tried going back to the main... The beginning of the game, putting the skull in the hole see what that does um any other runes we got this one um i remember there's the passage we don't have anything to levitate yet um, was there another one somewhere? Let's see. Hmm. I, I mean, they're not marked on here. That's kind of the problem. Let's go back. And back. Back. Here. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I'll take it. I don't know why. Okay. Same thing as before. What do I need these things for, though?
The circular plate contains a rune that looks like a shooting star. This rune resembles the all-seeing eye. This rune is engraved with three squiggly lines, running each running parallel. Okay. We could go down, or back will take us to the crypt, but down, I think, is where we want to go to get to the passage. Right. Does this do anything now? No. go through there. Man, yeah. It only took... It only took ten, uh, ten episodes for me to fix the, the mouse pointer thing. Eh, I mean... You know. Alright, Triforce... This rune resembles three triangles stacked as a pyramid. A faint glow runs along its surface and between deep crevasses. Crevice, crevasse. Let's check this out. Carving on this keystone is of a circle within a shield. Majal. You know, it talked about a shooting star. Shooting star is like Majal's tail. Are you going somewhere, Jack? Let's try using the rune on this. Since nothing is happening, after a few moments, you stop trying to use the rune on the keystone. Ah, oh, man. Somehow I pulled my shoulder. Okay, anything in here? Anything that we missed? No. Okay, let's speak to the statue. Okay. Didn't really help a lot. Um, I guess we'll go back to the entrance. That's the only thing I can really do at this point. I feel like this is a really dumb thing to do, but, uh, you know. Tower landing. We'll leave that one. I'm gonna save over this instead. And, okay. Use on this. The skull seems to leap from your hands and into the slot on the archway. Faint sounds deep within the castle walls signal something has happened. Yeah. The skull exudes an almost melancholy air. Looking into, into its empty eyes and weathered surface, a sense of palpable regret overcomes you. Well, I might have just screwed myself. I guess we'll see. Um... Look at castle. See, why is it not? Anyway, like there's runes glowing right here. Let's see. One of the gears is missing, the mechanism won't work until it has been replaced. Great. But I don't know if this is the one. <clears throat> I vote we get out of this part of the castle. Who's with me? Alright, let's try it now. 
The wizards use mechanisms like this to control the flow of water. If the liver... <coughs> Jesus, excuse me. If the levers are positioned correctly, one only needs to press the button to enact great change throughout the castle. How do I know? Right? The only thing I can think of is that there's something here, but I don't... Let's see. Grudgingly, the ancient mechanism turns. When the gears stop, you listen for any telltale sign that something might have happened. Nothing. That didn't sound right. You might want to try it again. The only thing I can think of is maybe this gear is actually... Maybe either of them work? You know? Even though it doesn't look like it should, it maybe it... I, I don't know. Give me another hint, Yorick. Is it the same one? Yeah, okay. Well, let's go check out the where the waterfall is. Right. Wait, was it here? Was that... Yeah, let's go in here. Nope, that's the wrong way. This way. What I'm gonna do is grab... Okay, so the spider's still locked up. That's good. I'm gonna grab the ice elemental. Maybe we can use that on the lava. Matari riseth thing. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, what did it change? What did putting that skull in there do? Okay. Dwarven Craftsman Stamp. See, I feel like maybe there is... Don't I don't know. It's like, oh, the levers have to be positioned correctly, and it's like, okay, that's that's great and all, but <clears throat> where? I don't know if it would mark down on the side here. I think I can see something through the falls. I wonder if there's some mechanism to control the water. There there is I just don't know where the frickin' thing is. stones and I have one extra of these which is weird I don't suppose the poker would fit. A wrought iron poker. 
into the where the rod is, I mean. Like, I haven't found anything that uses these. Like, nowhere to place them. I mean, unless I have to place them back where I got... Um, I mean, where I got them. Like, I have to shift them around and place different runes into the spots or into the study, right? Into that circle thing on the floor. That's a possibility as well. Um... Yeah, and what did... What did putting the skull in the thing do? I'm gonna run back to the beginning. We'll click on the hint button. See if Yorick has a... The wizards would not have placed so many powerful runes throughout the castle if they did not have some greater purpose. Perhaps you should take them for, for yourself. Right. Okay, so it's not to this room that he's talking about. It's to a... Uh, in general, he's talking about the runes that I've been picking up. It's like, I, I got that. The most precious of artifacts are often kept in the darkest of places. Did this chain, did this take that darkest, the darkness away? So this deactivated the defenses, not activated them? Is that what? We'll check. Okay. Torch's flame momentarily flickers. Um, yeah, I mean, okay. Okay. Why did I have to click on that? Okay, like... We're good for the moment. Oh, well. I mean, if there's any lever instructions, then I don't see them so far. I haven't seen them yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Alright. We'll light a torch. There we go. Um, Alright, now what? Library. Study. Mmm... Let's go here first. See if we can use the poker on the rod spot. And, uh... I doubt that'll work. No, doesn't fit. Ancient script covers the part of the wall. Try as you might, you can't understand a word. Let's go to... 
whichever tower it was that had the darkness in it. Uh, it is the West Tower, which should be this one. Okay, the very darkness itself is live. Let's take a much more powerful flame than your torch provides to combat this darkness. I don't... Okay, flash the spell. Darkness unaffected by your magic, so I don't have... Oh. I mean, I assume there's a fire elemental then. But I, I haven't seen one. Um, let's go here. This one's locked. Wizards were not to play so many powerful runes. Perhaps you should take them. Okay, let us... We're gonna go to the study. We're going to go to the study. We're going to... Try and place something here. Items. So it's not that one. Let's try... Oh, not use. The rune failed to do anything constructive to the markings. Well, okay. Fail to find any way to open it. No, I think I've done this before. All right, Yorick, give me a hint. That's pitiful fire. Let's get the flames roaring. Toss something in, really? Use log on the fire. Okay. Got it. I didn't think so. You know, I mean, I guess it makes sense. You can't pick it up, but you can move it. I didn't even think about that. Uh, roll the log into the pit. The flames immediately leap into the air in a most supernatural way. With a crackle and pop, Fire Elemental appears in the room, playfully flitting about the enchanted fire. Got it. Um, use the silver orb on the table. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. That way it's it's out of there. I don't know if we can use it on the, the lava. I want to use this on the darkness first. Grasping the silver orb in both hands, you advance on the fire elemental. There's a brief struggle before the artifact successfully pulls the entity inside. The surface of the orb now radiates an intense heat. Let's, uh... Burn them all. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, that, that works for me, I suppose. To the darkness now. And then we'll use the elemental on that. And... Hmm. 
An explosion of flame, the fire elemental escapes the orb. The acrid smell of burnt sulfur trails behind the spirit as it disappears in a puff of smoke. Well, I just wanted to burn the tapestries. Is that too much to ask? Apparently it is. All right. An entity made of gas and fire flits energetically about the room. All right. So it kind of is like attacking the darkness with magic missile, isn't it? Like the fire elemental. Magic missile. Uh, yeah. I need more coffee, I think. Aha! Uh -huh. You pull the silver orb from your satchel, point it towards the darkness, and release the fire elemental. The singularity pierces the blackness with bursts of flame, chasing the dark energy from the room. Ah, there's another uh, rune. And what's going on here with these cracks? The chipped and faded image on the wall is dominated by a heroic figure in the foreground, blowing a horn in the midst of a huge battle. Circular plate glows with power. It is firmly attached to the wall. Truly, this must belong to one of the wizards of the circle. All right, we got it. What about these rocks? Jagged and broken, the stone weighs quite a bit. Look at rubble. Small pile of broken mortar and stone appears to have broken away from the walls. Several cracks in the wall are large enough to reveal something hidden behind. You attempt to dig into the crack to grab what's concealed there. However, the crack needs to be broken open wider first. Land a punch on the rock wall, but the wall refuses to break any further with your feeble blow. There we go. Swing the hammer at the crack and land a solid blow, loosening the stone and revealing a concealed metallic object, which is the horn. You pull the lustrous metallic artifact from the damaged wall. Power flows through from the instrument and courses through your fingertips and up to your arms. You know beyond a doubt this can only be the platinum horn, a legendary relic of summoning. battle has been painted on the mural, one between two opposing armies. In the foreground is an encampment highlighted by an ancient tree that lifts its defiant branches to the sky, which explains why the rune was a tree. Was that all in this room? I think so. A series of amazingly intricate archaic runes and glyphs are etched upon the smooth, re smooth reflective surfaces surface of the curved horn. The circular stone has a glyph that resembles a tree carved on it. A faint glow runs along its surface. I wonder if I need to use the horn in front of the chasm. Or do I use the horn where the king is at? I don't know. Give me another hint, dude. Right. About the runes again. Okay, still darkness. Um. Right, what do you do with the sky? Maybe I can use the, the spell to call the wyvern?
Right. I was like, oh, maybe he has a hint about that. So presumably, I don't have all the runes yet. All right, tell me about this. We'll get another hint. The wizards were always studying the stars. They would often use the patterns of constellations in their spells and mechanisms. I'd go take a look if I were you. Well, yeah, I mean, that was what I was trying to do. Like, do I place the runes here or do I use them or something? The mythical eagle that brings the morning sun. Oh. The watcher or the all-seeing eye. Using the rune has no effect on the star. But there's five of them. So presumably... I have five runes and they'll... It's how I'm gonna... I'm gonna find them somewhere. Like a pattern like this, right? Mythical god of water. Uh, commonly known as the One Tree. Okay. Uh, Plains of Fire. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. Let's... Let's go here. There it is. Oh, and I, I could have sworn he had the thing on his chest. Large winged creature soars to and fro. Let's try the spell. Gather your will and concentrate upon the spell. Glyph sparks, you whisper into the night sky. Light shoots from your fingertips, followed by an explosion of multicolored sparks. Almost like fireworks, the blast expands into two malevolent, electrically charged oblong shapes. Okay. The creature responds with a roar of greeting flying towards the tower parapet. As it nears, you realize the beast is a wyvern, a winged dragon replete with a riding saddle. You gape in amazement as the creature fans its wings, hovering just off the edge of the tower. It glares at you, letting out a cry of challenge. Um, okay. Do we use the shooting star on it? What am I up to now? Let's try... Let's try it. Uh, you pull the shooting star from your satchel and throw it at the reptilian creature with a thump. The artifact bounces off the wyvern scales and over the edge of the tower. The hovering beast simply looks at you and cocks its head. Wearing glares at you, letting out a screeching cry. So... It's gone. Did I just screw myself? Looks as though the traitor has been neglecting his beast. I wonder how long it's been since it was fed. Fair enough. You throw the food at the wyvern, and the beast immediately begins to gobble it up, oblivious to everything else. Can I take... You carefully sneak close to the distracted dragon. As gently and quickly as you can, you remove the amulet from the beast's neck. That was a right clever trick there, boy. Well done, York exclaims. I love how they... I, I assume you don't actually need the shooting star, and they just put that in there to... kind of trick you a little bit. But... Winged reptiles completely distracted by the food it is eating. Did I need... Like... I feel like the hint is what we should be getting from, you know, observing it or something. You know what I mean? Okay, well now I have... Let's go back so it doesn't kill me. I probably should have let it kill me. Is it back? Alright, let's, uh...
Let's do this again and then we'll attack it. Uh, let's see. Winged creatures of fabled wyvern hovering over the edge of the tower. The scaled mount seems a bit nervous, poised to take flight at any moment. Ah. So it doesn't actually attack you, it just runs away. The wyvern is spooked by your actions. It lets out a shrill cry and with a strong beat of its wings propels itself into the sky. So it probably doesn't kill you, it just runs off. Now what? We still don't know what that thing did. Hey, Jack. Okay, so I have the bladed sun. Uh, let's see. A large glowing jewel rests in a setting shaped as a sunburst. It's surely the legendary bladed sun. Jack is rubbing his face against the microphone, and we should probably stop here. Oh, baby. But I have I have the runes. I have five runes. I, I don't know what I'm doing. A hand followed by a pointed star and four vertical lines. You are so cute, Jack. So that's all of the spells. They've all been used. Uh Hmm. Jack Bubba. Let's read Whoa. Whoa, crazy. Okay. Uh, let's see, Mjall's tail, circle runes of water, fire, and all-seeing eye, and place them with the great eagle that sits on the one tree. Oop, that's the wrong. Place them with the great eagle. Fire, water, and all-seeing eye. Place them with the eagle. That sits on the one tree. Is this supposed to be fire? Maybe there's more runes. Place them with the eagle. I don't even know what it's talking about. What are you doing, Jack? What are you doing? Okay, uh, let's see. Several lines point to the shapes with writing. Read to the mirror leads to the furnace into the castle beyond. These mirrors require power to activate and will teleport to places. So this is your fast travel, I suppose, if it ever actually works. Uh, let's see, five to find, three or one. One gives access to the blade of sun, silver orbit to the staff of ages. Joining two, the golden thorn, last to invoke platinum horn. Uh, elegant writing of the scroll. Wait, this is the one I got first? Only means to capture and control elementals. You must hide the silver orb beyond the waters of the sewer. Okay, so I was wrong about the silver orb then, I guess, if this was the first one that we got. Uh, circle chamber. In the end. Uh, oh. Trust defeated, blah, blah, blah. Gabriel. Letter is signed. Gabriel includes a glyph which shows four vertical lines of varying height. Gabriel the Bard? Is that the four? So it's like, it's hand, bladed, sun, and four. The four could be the horn. I mean, that's what you have to do normally. 
Okay. Have been selected by Fandil. Uh, okay. This is blank. What about you? Okay. The book is blank. Uh, let's see. We all have the mark. It's simply a matter of separating our heads from our shoulders. Then our remains can be used in the hidden approach, and the wards will be engaged. Allowing those with the knowledge to travel the castle unopposed. One merely has to be within our walls for this to work. I don't... I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, let's see. Follow the path the ancients have hidden to find the way beyond the wall of wisdom. Right, that's the hidden thing in the library. Uh, stars, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Terrible visions. Okay. A blueprint of Shadowgate. Wizard. Do I need to kill Blackmere? Is that what I need to go do? I guess we could try it. Okay. W. Um. Okay. Well. Black mirror. Let's go see if we can do that real fast. Save real fast. Tower top, okay. We'll just save over that one, that's fine. And... Items... Let's use a sword on him, I suppose. Barrier of energy, preventing you from disturbing his otherworldly state. Can I use... Invoken on him? Protective barrier rises and intercepts the magic. This creates a misfire that explodes painfully in front of you and singes your eyebrows. Fair enough. Well then, um, we'll just stop here. Alright guys, well that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Um... I'm stuck now. I stuck. I am stuck. Um. Yeah. Thanks again, though, seriously, for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um. What is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's just the fact that I was able to, to fix the, the movement of this. Like, I was able to figure out what it was. It's also something I'll have to pay attention to in the future when I do a test recording. You know, to make sure the sound is good, make sure the brightness is good, and now make sure the mouse moves properly. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's my unique pause moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.